what's good how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider subscribing i will appreciate it thank you very much i want to show you what we got here we got this printer this is hp deskjet 3760 this printer is one of the world's smallest all-in-one printer for home this printer you go from phone to print easily this printer you can copy scan and print with it this printer got four months trial of ink included okay so it's an ink subscription service but you need to register this at hp inst hpinstantink.com this printer is dual band you can connect it to wi-fi network or wi-fi direct but also with usb cable this printer is compatible with window 10 window 8 window 7 okay and also compatible with mac ios mac majovia mac catalina this printer what we want to do is basically unbox this printer check it out see what is inside i hope this will help you to make informed choice about this printer this is one of the world's smallest all-in-one printer out there Now, what is inside? This is the power cable, three pin power cable. Okay, three cartridges, three zero four, three col three colors and black included in the packaging. HP ink cartridges information. This is the information pack. Information pack. First impression, nice. I like this recycling bit. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like very light economical and affordable this printer is very nice it's not heavy it's for home Let's see what it looks like you never run out and save up to 70 percent on ink get ink plus hassle free delivery and recycling all start from 0 0.99 euro a month four months trial of instant ink you need to do this okay from hpinstantink.com you need to register this at hpinstantink.com so this is hp desjet 3760 print scan copy and web see what it looks like This is very light printer and this is the rear paper tray and see this is the rear paper tray so you can load various sizes of paper from the rear paper tray and the ink cartridges holder is by the corner here once you switch this printer on it will come to the middle for you to change it and also bring this out this is where the document rests okay and at the back here the power cable goes here okay and the usb cable goes here unfortunately usb cable is not included in the packaging okay so usb cable is not included we have this at vinyl textile free delivery here in uk and this printer the power cable push it inside okay and the scanner for this printer is here this is the scanner so you stick the document facing upwards if you want to scan your document so make sure that where the information is is facing upwards then for you to scan your document 
okay and this printer just gonna tell you a bit of information so that bring the camera front for you to see so you switch this printer on and off from here okay and this is for you button here is for you to copy color and this button here is for you to copy black and this button here is web and this is once you connect this printer to Wi-Fi network this will highlight and this is the Wi-Fi button this button here is information button you press this information to identify your proximity this button here is for you to resume and this button here is for you to cancel and this is the LCD screen this printer you can load various sizes of paper you just need to load specific paper you want and adjust it so you can load 5 by 7 13 by 18 centimeter 4 by 6 10 by 15 centimeter paper and the pin number and serial number for this printer is here hp dash the 3700 series you also got qr code okay the pin number and this is here okay so this printer is nice it's very economical and affordable printer you can print black and white with this printer okay so easy print from smartphone to the easy print from your smartphone or tablet so you can use your smartphone to print or, or tablet okay so this printer is one of the world's smallest printer and to switch this printer on you just need to plug it on to the power so plug it onto the socket okay and once you plug it on what you need to do is you need to switch it on from here this is the on and off button So this is the overview of this printer okay so we just need to wait for to show you and once the printer is on a light will be showing from the lcd screen there we go and see the in cartridge holder is, is is the center for you to change the ink okay so this is how to and once you close it it will move away so this is the overview of this printer okay thank you very much indeed check out my next video how to install the ink and connect this printer to Wi-Fi network thank you and stay blessed hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel this is hp dash j3760 this printer is multifunctional printer it's multi-tax three and one in the sense you can copy scan and print with this printer this printer you go from phone to print easily it's one of the world's smallest all-in-one printer for home this printer i can connect it to wi-fi network wi-fi direct and with usb cable unfortunately usb cable is not included in the packaging we have the cable at vinet tech store free delivery here in uk this printer you got four months trial included of hassle free money saving ink subscription starting at 0.99 euro this is instant ink so select this service you need to register at hpinstantink.com you need to do this within seven days of registering starting here registering your printer okay I'm just gonna give you features of this printer then for us to install the ink cartridges this printer is using 304 ink cartridges or 304 extra light from the back okay the power cable goes in here three pin power cable is in included in the packaging the usb cable goes in here but unfortunately usb cable is not included in the packaging okay and this printer is using rear paper tray 
and this is the paper thread so you can load various sizes of paper 5 by 7 13 by 18 centimeter 4 by 6 inch 10 by 15 centimeter a4 paper so you can load various sizes of paper what you need to do is to load the paper and adjust it okay so you adjust it with this holder okay now this printer is using the scanner for this printer is here okay so you need if you want to scan your document you need to make sure the document is facing up okay so this is the scanner where you scan your document from here and you switch this printer on and off from here this is the on and off button and this printer now you can see uh, so many warning lights okay you can see this button is for you to copy color and this button here is for you to copy your document black and this for you to go to web and this button here is when you connect this printer to wi-fi network or wi-fi direct this light will highlight and this is information button it will ask you to press this information button to identify your pr printer proximity when you want to connect this printer to wi-fi network and this is the wi-fi button and this button here is to resume and this button here is cancel and this lcd screen inside this lcd screen it will show you the ink gauge and also show you zero here is for the document at the moment is highlight them warning light for the ink and also showing that the paper is not installed okay and inside it you see a recession for the wi-fi network now if you press your document if you print your document it will come out and rest on top here i want to show you to install the ink open up this end and once you open it up the ink cartridge so that will come right in the middle for you to change it it does it automatically the serial number for this printer is here i also want you to keep an eye okay you can see a sticker showing the ink the color goes to the left the black goes to the right so this is what we are going to do now to install the ink so this ink cartridge is, is included in the package in the packaging okay so you will get ink that usually come with the, the printer okay so this is black color what you need to do is pull off okay and go in to the black once you are in push it upwards so make sure the chip area goes inside okay so go in with it and push it upwards then do the same thing to the color Okay, this is the colored one oh, remove the packaging then go in okay push it up then close it once you close it then you, you need to wait for this printer to recognize it and here we go and if you look here if you look on the LCD screen then you see the gauge for the ink is showing up that the ink is installed okay so this is how to install the ink you can see the light that was showing on the ink is no longer flashing okay if you want to remove it just open it up once you open it up the ink holder will come in the middle for you to change it okay you can see the ink holder is in the middle so you just need to wait to, re to remove it just need to press press and remove it then you change another ink okay once this one run out okay so you don't have to it's up to you to check if you want to buy the ink, subscribe to ink subscription service you don't have to do it okay sometimes i get question if you is compulsory it's not compulsory so you can actually once this one run out you can buy the ink from amazon or from anywhere else okay or from store 304 is what is using then and use it anywhere anyhow you anytime you run out then you change the anytime you run out then you change the ink okay 
here and this one is in then you go back in okay and it's in make sure it's not falling off then close it okay and it's it's moving it is moving away okay so the ink this is how to install the ink if you want to load the paper okay to load your paper you just need to select the particular paper you want okay and once you load the paper the light here also will go off okay so you just need to select the paper so this is okay so this you can see the paper this is how to load the paper and once you load the paper just adjust it a tiny bit and it's in the light that was showing here and see the light is no longer flashing only light is flashing here now is the wi-fi network so this is how to install the ink and also load the paper if you remove the paper now the light will be if you remove the paper okay here we go the light will be highlighting again okay so this is how to do this okay let me know what you think about this printer i hope you like it so this is how to load paper and also install the end cartridges if you're happy with this process please do consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel this is hp dash jet 3760 this printer is multifunctional printer it's multi tax three in one in the sense you can copy scan and print with this printer this printer is one of the world's smallest all-in-one printer and you can go from printing from your phone easily and this printer you can connect it to wi-fi network wi-fi direct and also with usb cable connect this printer to wi-fi network and to do this we need to go to our mobile device so we want to do this using a mobile phone so go to the play store so go to your play store what you need to do is go to play store so go to your play store okay and type hp smart app type hp smart app okay this is hp smart app download it on your phone once you download it click it open and this is hp smart app is getting ready now what you need to do uh, is to connect this printer to wi-fi network and to do this we need to go to our mobile device so we want to do this using a mobile phone so go to the play store so go to your play store what you need to do is go to play store so go to your play store okay and type hp smart app type hp smart app okay this is hp smart app download it on your phone once you download it click it open and this is hp smart app is getting ready now what you need to do so what you need to do you need to put this printer to wireless mode and once you put in the wireless mode it will print out wireless quick guide the first method use a mobile device such as a smartphone or tablet or computer without hp printer software previously installed make sure the device from which you would like to print either your mobile or computer has been connected to a wireless network so my mobile device is connected okay on the printer press and hold the wi-fi button and cancel button for three seconds okay so you press and hold the wi-fi button and the cancel button for three seconds the power light will blink for a few seconds then the printer will be will be in set up mode okay the wireless light will continue to blink on the printer is connected so press the wi-fi button and cancel button okay and the printer is blink for three seconds okay then you release it okay now the next thing you need to do is so the printer will be in a wireless mode and the printer will continue flashing okay so what you need to do is then you go to the app and start to search for available device select get started 
select Wi-Fi network, click continue, and select continue, and it will start to search for available device. So what is doing now is searching for available printer. And it's showing us no printer is found. Select my printer is not it's not available. Tap find my printer. Okay. So if your printer is not listed, you need to tap find my printer and define HP setup. There's your 37 series. HP setup. There's your 3700 series. Select on it. Okay. And it's, it's connected. Okay. Select continue. Then what is doing now is then you need to select Wi-Fi network. You want to connect the printer. Select. Okay. So now I'm going to connect, put the Wi-Fi detail, the information. I have the information here. So what I'm going to do now is to put the Wi-Fi network information. So once you put the information for the Wi-Fi network, the next thing you need to do is you need to select, you need to click done and done and continue and it's going to prepare the printer so what is the printer is prepared the next is obtaining ip address ip address obtained so it's finishing connection and it's connected if you look on the printer the wi-fi button is no longer flashing so this printer now is connected but we need to wait for this to finish here we go printer connected to wi-fi network you can see a printer connected to wi-fi network and it will show you the wi-fi name okay so select continue now find your printer pin okay so open up the printer the pin number is here so you need to put the pin okay so the pr printer pin okay so what is asking us find your printer pin okay and put the printer print pin so look here this is the printer pin okay so i'm going to put the information then for us to go ahead and finish the connection so use your phone key to put the pin number okay click submit once you put the pin number click submit then thank you for waiting there we go So what he's doing now is checking the printer status. Click accept all. Click accept all. Okay, redeem two months printing you can skip this okay are you sure yes skip offer the reason why i'm skipping this offer because this is tutorial sending printer registration to the account Okay, select auto automatic update click apply okay setup complete let's print so it's printing the document okay select print document
Okay, select print. Okay, so this this is in different language. Okay, we just need to wait for this printer to show us that this printer is connected. Once you finish the connection, it will tell you welcome. So the printer is now this printer is now connected. Okay, it will show you for you to be able to print. If you're able to print this, then you know that this printer is set. Okay, you can see HP Instant Ink and can share things you can do with this printer okay now then the next thing you need to do is it will ask you to share your link with other device not right now okay and this is the app HP plus okay now fireway update okay and this printer is ready HP dash jet new HP ink cartridges install this is the printer here okay so guys, this is how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network. If you're happy with this process, please do consider to subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed. Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is HP Deskjet 3760. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multi-tax 3-in-1 in the sense you can copy, scan and print with this printer. This printer is using N cartridges 304. This printer now is connected to Wi-Fi network. I'm going to show you how to complete alignment head for this printer. And to complete alignment head, what you need to do is make sure you load the paper tray. Okay, then go to select the printer image. Once you select the printer image, the next you need to do, you need to go to print quality tools select print quality tools and it will take you to continue to your printer setting select okay then you will see this information your connection is not private okay go back to safety or advance i will encourage you to advance okay once you select advance then the next you need to do is select proceed okay don't go back to the safety so if you go back to the safety you will not do this so it, now you can see run maintenance to to improve your printer quality so you can do a lot of things from here so what you want to do is align cartridges okay you can print quality reports align cartridges calibrate scanner clean smear clean print head what you want to do is align cartridges aligning the cartridges ensure high quality output try aligning the cartridge if you misalign color or line on print page so select a line okay and now what the next thing you need to do is look on the image examine the alignment page on the alignment page you find the box in which the smaller line are least visible then select the option from the box below so we need to look go go to a so you look from the a and select the box Okay, so we need to, from A, I'm going to select no, A10. So, so select A10. Okay, the next is B. Look on the image B. I'm going to select B8. Select B8. Okay, the next is C. So when you look on the image, then you select the one that is less visible. C16. So C16. Then D select d8 d8 e so when you, then you look on the e e5 so e5 then look f okay, i will select f6 f6 then look on the g g8 so g8 the next is H. So look H3. So H3. Then the next is I. 
so I will select I-19 this so you look on the image then for you to then you select the one okay so now I will select J10 J10 look K K7 K7 L so I'm looking at L L12 L12 okay the next on the list is M select M9 okay the last but not the least is N N2 N2 okay and once you've done that select apply okay alignment successful recycle or discard alignment okay so this is how to align the print head for this the cartridges then select okay okay then you can go back and do so many things you can clean smear head and print quality report if you're happy with this process please do consider to subscribe it help the channel this is how to align cartridges okay thank you and stay blessed hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel i want to show you how to scan document with this printer this printer is hp dash 3760 this printer is multifunctional printer it's multi-tax three in one in the sense you can copy scan and print with this printer to scan document is what i want to show you but before we do that i want to just to show you some of the features for this printer so you see this printer on and off from here and the scanner for this printer is here and you copy a document color with this button copy the document black and this is web once you connect this printer to wi-fi network this web light and the wi-fi button will be showing and also showing you that it's connected to mobile device and this is resume this is the information button and this button here is for you to cancel okay now to scan document with this printer what you need to do is first of all we need to go back to the hp smart app so this is hp smart app and this printer is connected to the app okay so go back to the home main menu and the printer is ready this is this printer to scan your document okay i want to show you to scan your document stick the document you want to scan on top of the scanner okay so stick the document you want to scan okay facing upwards and from the from the hp smart app select printer scanner okay and initialization is taking place now you select dp as source okay is automatic and this document feeder and also resolution you can change the resolution to 300 dpi as the maximum is at the moment 200 dpi okay then also the document is color you can change it to black if you want to scan it to black okay at the moment it's in color okay and then the next thing you need to do is select if it's document you select document if it's photo then you select photo okay so make sure you select specific one at the moment is in document select scan okay and also make sure you put your hand just to fit as the document is feeding through okay so this document now is scanning Okay, you can see the document will scan okay if you want to scan cl then click next if you want to scan the second one click add okay then stick the second document you want to scan on top of the scanner facing upwards uh, okay click start scan and make sure that is following through Okay, and here we go so this is the document we scan click next okay so we have the two documents here to print this document out okay select print and it's processing okay so now the next 
thing to do is you select how many range how many copies you want to print okay select more option for you to select the quality and scaling make sure if it's document then you select photo if it's photo then you select photo but it do, it, make sure it's in document okay then go back and select print and also change the color if you want to print it black and white then you select black and white it will change the black and white but at the moment you want to print it colored select print this document now is going to print out from here here we go this is this is the first one and this is the second so this is the document we scan okay this is the document we scan printed out now this document we scan if you want to save it on your phone you can click you, you select click save and make sure you change it as basic pdf and save so this document now is saved on my phone okay now if you want to share this document send it to somebody via email select share make sure you change it to basic pdf if it's photo then you change it to jpeg then actual size is 0 0.7 so you can select medium or small you can decrease the size the smaller the size okay mb it will be easy for you to send it to somebody okay the actual size is 0 0.7 so i'm going to put it on medium then select share once you select share it will give you the option for you to share this document via several platforms you can share quick share outlook epson yahoo mail so i'm going to send this to my email so this document now is attaching to my inbox okay then you put the email address of the person you want to send this to so i'm going to send it myself then put a subject hi type the information you want to send click send so this document now is sent to my inbox to my email address pretty much our job here is done what we need to do now we go and check this document okay if there's any other thing you want to do to print this document black okay like i mentioned earlier select print okay it's processing then you change the color from color to black and white if you want to print only one page you can select print only page one of one select page page range you can select one of one for you to print only one page select print so this document now is going to print black and white and only one page Here we go so we printed this document only one page black and white remember initially we printed it colored okay and we printed the, all the pages now we printed it one page okay black and white now if we go back again to my inbox our job here is done if we go to my inbox and look for this document go to my inbox and look for this document and want to see if the document arrives open it up Okay, this is the document inside my inbox click it open so download it it's opening so this is the this is the document we scan and share to my inbox okay so this is how to scan your document print it out share to others via email also save the document on your phone if you want to know where the document we save is what you need to do is go to your file on your mobile phone go to my file then go to documents okay click on the date okay see this is the document we save on my file on my phone okay so this how to do this so we save this document on my phone printed it out share this document as well 
if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well i'm going to show you how to print document from hp printer to print document with hp printer the rules here are you need to make sure your phone using your phone using your android phone you need to make sure your android phone and the printer both are connected to the same network so i'm going to show you how to print the document from this printer and to print your document what you need to do is first of all there are two ways to do this first one is you select the document and look for the available printer the other one is you go to hp smart app okay so the first one you go to the file select your, your file where you have this document okay and select on the document and this is the document we have now to print this document out select you will see three dot at the, on top select the three dot now it will show you page sorter page view screen full screen add to invite collaborator add to share notebook tag save as file and print select print okay and once you select print it will you will see you will see this okay color okay what you need to do you use the so you will see this app okay so scroll down and look for this printer this is hp dsj 3700 series is available select on it okay and wait for the printer and now you can do some the printer is here so you can select how many com number of copies you want and also if you want to change the color from color to black and white you can select it and also orientation and portrait you can select all this information in this okay now the next once you select all the information anything information you need like if you want to change the color for instance to black okay select the color to black and white okay and select print so you select print here we go so this document now is printing Okay, so this is the document we printed out from our mobile phone from HP printer. Now, another method to do this is for you to go to your phone. Okay, go to HP Smart App. Go to open it up and make sure you connect this printer to HP Smart App. Okay. So make sure that this printer, so what I'm doing now is so make sure the printer is here so we are looking for this hp printer i have so many hp printers so select add a printer okay so add a printer already on the wi-fi okay select on on it so add a printer already on, on the wi-fi network so you, you wait for the printer then to show okay so select on the printer so before you do anything you need to make sure that the printer is available here we go so the printer is ready we just need to wait here we go so the printer is ready now the other thing to print this document okay is you can see from this app here yeah, you select print document if it's photo you want to print then you select photo or pdf so the document you want to print is usually pdf photo is jpeg so you can print document or photo select pdf now it will take you to the file go to, then it take you to downloads okay where you have your file to select the particular one so this is the pdf so this document we want to print out okay so select print 
and it will start to process now from now from here you can select color how many copies automatic more option you if it's document make sure it's document if it's photo then change it to photo okay and also quality is automatic scaling fit to page then you go back and select print so we are printing all if you want to print only one then you select page range so we are printing all in color so this document now is printing There we go. And see, it's printing in color. This is the document. So this is how to print your document from HP printer using HP Smart App or the other way around whereby you select the document and send it and look for available printer and send it to the printer okay so if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it helped the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well this is hp dash 3760 this printer is multifunctional printer is multi-tax three in one in the sense you can copy scan and print with this printer this printer now is connected to Wi-Fi network. I want to show you how to copy document from this printer. To copy your document with this printer, you need to take your document, make sure that it's facing upwards, and this is the scanner for this printer. So stick your document, okay? Make sure it's facing upwards, okay? And then you select, if you want to copy, color or black then you select specific button for the job you want to do so we want to copy these documents colored okay so select colored and wait okay and you can see the document is copying you can see it's copying so make sure you put the document facing upwards to the scanner Once it's finished, you wait for this to print out. So this is the document we copied and the original one is here. Okay, now the other thing I want to show if you want to copy black, the sentence is applicable. So stick the document you want to copy facing upwards, the scanner, and, sele and select black. There we go. So the other thing is when you are doing this, you can actually cancel this job. Okay. So you just need to if you change your mind, you can cancel this job and okay. To do this again, you just need to make sure stick the document you want to copy. Okay, select black and make sure you, you bring the document very close so that all the document will fit in. Here we go.
Okay, so this is the document we, we copied. If you want to copy this document more than two, for instance, you stick the document on the scanner, okay? If you want to copy it to maybe two, okay, you select one and the number change again, it change to two. Okay, so now this document is going to copy two. Okay, and if you want, you also see it from the screen so that the, the, the document you want to copy is two. Also, make sure the document is feeding. Sometimes you need to bring this very close. Okay. Okay, so. So now it's going to print out this document. Okay, so stick the document you want to. Copy, okay, select, copy one, two, and make sure you fit the document, fit it properly. If you don't fit it properly, it will not print, it will just print a blank, okay. Here we go so if the scanner capture the document properly it will print out but if it doesn't capture it then it it will print just a blank space page this is the first one this is the first this is the second one okay so this is how to do this then the other thing i want to show you is you can also copy this document using your using the app so you can copy using the app and send this job to this printer and print it out okay what you need to do is you need to allow access okay and click allow the other thing is once you open it up this way you know you need to select the document the the paper which is you can select a for 10 by 15 13 by 18 ID card business card okay a4 paper okay then you used the camera to capture the image of the document take for example you use the camera to capture the image okay you can see the document okay then what you need to do is use the camera to capture the image of the document you want to if you're happy look on it if you're happy with it then you select copy so it will start to process now this is the document okay we captured with the phone okay then you can also select how many copies you want if you you can also change resize it fit to page fill page or original one Okay, or resize or, re, or keep original size. Then you start start black. You copy it to black or start color. Let's say start black, and this document now is going to copy in black. It's processing. So this document now is copying in black. So this is the document we copied okay using the phone okay we print copied it in black if you want to copy this document okay then you can go back and select start copying it to color and this document will copy in color so this is the two ways to do this to copy a document either from the printer selecting the copy button okay and also one thing i want to make just to tell you is to make sure that you are feeding the document properly and okay make sure you feed it properly to the scanner if you don't fit feed it into the scanner it will not fit through it, and also it will not print properly so you need to make sure you feed it document you want to copy to the scanner okay 
facing up then select either copy or scan button if you want to print more than one you, you need to tap the button twice or three times or how many times you want okay so this how to copy a document with this printer if you're happy with this process or this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well this is hp dash jet 3760 this printer is multifunctional printer it's multi-tax three in one in the sense you can copy scan and print with this printer this printer now is connected to wi-fi network i want to show you how to connect this printer to the to computer you need to make sure that the printer and the computer both of them are connected to the same network so this printer now is connected to use the computer okay to use this printer with this computer what we need to do is we need to look for this device okay so go to hp so what you need to do is go to hp smart app hp smart app okay and look for this printer now what we need to do is select add a printer so we're going to add a printer so what is going to do now is going to look for available printer so what is doing now is searching for available printer And here we go you can see you find the printer hp days here 3700 series is available okay so you select on it and now it's setting up what is doing now is getting printer driver information And you can see launch it will show you hp dash jet driver successful install click continue okay and you can see this printer now is ready it will show you that the printer is ready so this for now you can print and do so many things with this printer okay but one thing i want to show you is if this printer is not in connected to wi-fi network before for the first time how would Will you do this so i'm going to show you what you need to do to put this printer to wireless in a wireless mode okay press the wi-fi button and cancel button together okay and you can see the printer now is flashing okay the printer is now flashing okay so what we need to do now is we need to connect this printer and to the network to connect this printer now once you put the printer in a wireless mode the wi-fi button will be flashing and so what we need to do is we need to look for this printer and you can see the printer the blue light is flashing here now what you need to do is you need to go to your printer and go to hp so type hp smart app click it open and once you type HP Smart App, it will start to look for available printer. So select add printer. Okay, once you select add a printer, it will start to look. For, so what is doing now is searching for available printer. Okay, and select and refine the printer. Select setup. Now it's showing us time to connect and um, manage your printer. Select continue. Now it picked up the network, Wi Fi network access wi-fi password for the following no thank you i don't want to do this automatic so now what we need to do is and a fan the wi-fi information so i'm going to put the password now okay so the next lesson i'm going to do is to put the password i also want to mention so what i'm doing now is to put the password if you ask you to put a capital letter make sure you put the capital letter if you ask you to put a small letter you select the same so what I'm doing now is putting the password.
okay and you can also select the wi-fi password you put to check sometimes i get information people question people asking where do you get the password you get the password from the back of your router and the information i put i'm happy with it information i put i'm happy with it so what i need to do now is select connect so select connect and okay and this and printer is found the next is hp desjet so it's configuring the printer so the next is printer configured okay so the next now is joining the network so what is doing is joining is joining the network okay and the printer is configured and network is joined the network so what is doing now is completing here we go okay so you can see printer connected to network and it show you the printer and also show you the, the network information once you see this image you know that this printer is connected so the next we need to do is we need to select continue okay select continue okay so the next you need to do is just need to follow the process and connect the printer to hp service so it's getting ready so what is doing now is getting the heat ready to set up so what i've done now is to show you if you already have the printer on the wi-fi network how to add the printer to your lap okay add the printer and laptop together you can also if you haven't done this before you can also put the printer in a wireless mode by pressing the wi-fi button and the cancel button together and once you press it the printer will flash once the printer flash it will be in a wireless mode for you to go to hp download hp smart app on your computer then add a printer once you select add a printer it will start to look for available device and it will show up so what is doing now is getting the information joining hp service okay so this is how to connect the printer to wi-fi network we just need to wait and the size special for the process to go through so what is doing now is getting information So this is how to connect your printer to Wi-Fi network. And if you look here as well, you we see that the printer is also showing. Okay, it will show you that the, the blue light is steady on, it's no longer flashing. Once you have you done everything correct. Okay, so this is what how to do this. We just need to wait for the information to set up to complete and you are ready to go. If it's taking a bit of time, you can also the other thing you can do is just need to cross off and go to HP Smart App and this printer will be ready already. Go to HP Smart App and click it open. Okay. Once you connect it, and here we go, the printer is ready. Okay. So if it's turning up and down, okay, on what you need to do is go to HP Smart App. And the printer will show you that it's ready. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. And stay blessed. Thank you. Hey guys. 
how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel this is hp dash j3760 i'm going to show you how to scan a document from this printer okay and this printer now both are connected to the same network to scan a, a document okay what you need to do is you need to stick the document you want to scan on top of the scanner facing up this printer hasn't got flat bell scanner so the scanner is underneath here okay so stick the document you want to scan on top of the scanner facing up okay now you go to the scanner from the print on the on your computer you see scanner select scan and once you select scan you wait for it to be ready then the next thing you need to do is you need to select the document from the advanced preset if it's photo you want to scan then you select photo if it's document make sure you select document and also the paper size a4 output select color or gray output is color resolution is 300 dpi you can change the resolution to 600 dpi but 300 is it's okay 600 dpi tend to take a bit of a bit longer then the next you need to do is select scan and also make sure while you selecting scan make sure you put your hand here slightly so that this document will fit in smoothly okay so now th this document is scanning here we go so this is the document we scan and you can see it okay on the laptop if you want to scan the second one you need to click add select add I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, if you want to scan the second one, select add. Okay, select add. Then you stick the second document you want to scan. So stick the second document you want to scan on the scanner. Okay, so remove the, this one and stick the second one, for instance. Okay, and you select scan on the computer. Okay, so make sure you select scan again so select scan on the computer and make sure you are feeding the document then what you need to do then you look on the document if you are happy with it then you go ahead if you are not happy with it then you can delete a particular one if you are not happy with this last one if you are not happy with it then you can select replace okay so you can replace it and stick it do it again and make sure that everything so you can okay make sure that it's in properly and select scan and this document now is scanning okay so now we have two documents we scan okay this document now if you want to print it out you can select print on underneath your computer so so many things you can do with this printer now you can select print you can save you can share so to print the document you need to select print and the two documents are here so it's getting ready so the next thing you need to do is you need to make sure you are selecting the correct printer so go to the printer settings and look for this printer which is hp dsj 3700 series so scroll down and look for hp 3700 series okay make sure you select the correct one then you wait for the printer to load for the document so the document is loaded then select print from here you can change the paper size photo size or any other thing you want to do select print this document now is printing out why the document is printing out 
the other thing i want to show you if you want to save this document you need to select save okay if you want to save it the sentence is applicable select save then you go and save it make sure you change it to pdf then you go and save it on your printer any then make sure you write name or anything you can remember to remember it okay then select save so this document now is saved on the document and it will show you the document is saved so now this document we sent to this printer is printed out okay can see that this is the document we scan both of them printed out in black and white and now we have saved this document if you want to share this document okay the next thing you need to do is the sentence is applicable select share if you want to share, send this to somebody via email then select share and also make sure it's basic pdf select share and this document is then it give you the option for you to send it share with you can share this via microsoft team or email select email then the document is attached to my inbox then put the email address of the person you want to share this document with okay and select send if you put the email or the address of the person then you put the subject hi okay then type the information you want to send to the person then click send so this document now is sending via email okay you can see the document is sent so the, the other thing you need to do is you wait for this document then pretty much our job here so we, we are able now able to print save and share then you can also go to your email address and check for this document so the next thing to do is here we go the document just arrived inside my inbox click it open so this is the document we save and share to my inbox this is the document we scan printed it out and also send it sent it to my inbox from this inbox you you want to print it out you can also select and print it out but this is the process how to do this how to scan the document print it out share this printer is nice economical and affordable let me know if there is any other thing you want me to show you how to use this printer and uh, just when you are scanning this document something that i notice is totally different to flat bell scanner you just need to make sure you feed in the document properly and facing up the information need to be up okay so if you have the information facing down you will not get anything so you need to make sure that the information is upwards okay and i like to put my hand on top of it just on top of the document so that you will and gently feed it in it will work okay thank you very much indeed guys and stay blessed like and share and subscribe it helped the channel thank you hey guys I hope you are doing well i received question someone asked how to print document from computer to hp printer i want to show you how to print document from your computer to hp printer there are two ways to do this okay but the, the rules here are you need to make sure that the printer and the computer are both connected to the same network so my computer and the and the and the printer both are connected to the same network so to print out the document what we need to do is we need to go to the to my file okay so go to the file where you save this document and go to the documents okay now i want to scroll down and look for the document i want to print out so you scroll down and look for particular select a document and this is the document i want to print out okay to print this document so three documents to print them out okay you need to select print image on top of the printer you will see so you need to select print image on top okay so i'm going to select print image now the next thing we need to do is once you select print you wait for the document to be ready and also you need to select the particular printer you you have here so the, this printer is hp dash j 3700 series so i'm going to make sure we select the correct printer so use the down arrow to select 
So, but if the document is not responding, then you need to wait for this to respond. Perhaps, okay, you can see the document is now ready. Okay, so what you need to do is scroll down and select the correct printer. So, HP DSJ 3700 series is ready. Select on it, okay, and select if you want to print all, then you select print all. If you want to print only specific one, then you select print specific one. Likewise, if you want to print the color or black and white, then you make sure you select color or black and white. Okay, so either you print color or black and white. So I want to print this in color. Okay, and select print. Show you the other way to print document from computer to HP printer is for you to go to HP Smart App. When you select HP Smart App, then select print document and it will tell you support document file type file okay click ok then it will take you to a document where you save this document okay so now the document i want to print is then scroll down and look for the document you want to print okay so this is the document i want to print okay and then you look for the document type is portrait a4 paper and also make sure you select the correct printer and select scroll down if there's anything print on one side okay and select print so this document now is going to print out so the first one is for you to go and look for the document and look for available printer and send the job to the printer the second one is for you to go to your printer and download hp smart app and once the printer and um, the hp smart app once the printer and the laptop both of them are connected the same network you will see the printer on the hp smart app then you select print document then and send the job to the printer to print it out Okay, this is the first one. So this is the second one. Okay, so this is the document we printed from HP Smart App. Okay, this is how to print the document from, from HP Smart App, and the printer is ready. Or you go to the file instead of printing from HP Smart App, then you go to the file. Okay, go to your file and look for the go to, then go to your document and select the document you want to print. Okay, and then select print on the top. Okay, once you select once you select print from the top select print okay instead of select print and 
select how many okay only page specific page you want to print okay maybe just select page one for instance then and also the next to do is select the color if you want to print it color you select color also this print i can only print on one side from it okay so select print on one side select print so this print and this document now is going to print from here so these are ways you can print document from your computer to hp printer but the, you need to make sure that the printer and the computer both are connected to the same network so that it will be easy for you to do this Okay. There we go. This is the document. Okay. We printed only one page. Thank you very much, guys. This is how to print your document. If you're happy with this tutorial, please do consider to subscribe ahead the channel. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed. Thank you.